I am tracking some rain showers, just light rain showers throughout the northern area of Minnesota, north and northeast of Duluth. We aren't seeing too much of that rain activity here in the Duluth area, which is kind of typical. We have those stronger east winds on the north shore pushing a lot of that stable air into our area, but north up into the Iron Range into the Minnesota Arrowhead, looking at very spotty shower activity. And that's going to be the trend tonight into tomorrow morning as we sit under these mostly cloudy skies. We are seeing still rather mild temperatures down to the south, and those temperatures were kind of nice like that all weekend. Plenty of 70s and upper 70s off to our west, but those areas seeing the rain showers and then us here in the Twin Ports with that easterly wind still keeping us in those mid to upper 60s with some clouds hanging around. Now as we head into Tuesday, the warm front continues to move up to our north and east, so we do start the morning off with clouds. Now the Minnesota Arrowhead could see a few spotty showers yet again, but by Tuesday afternoon, these clouds move out. We'll see plenty of sunshine through the afternoon period. We'll see 84 degrees up on the hill. That southeasterly wind still kind of stays around, so those areas by the lakeside will be cooler. As we head into Wednesday, temperatures continue to stay warm as that ridge of warm air to our south kind of sits right over the Great Lakes, and that provides us with that very warm and muggy air. So we will see plenty of sunshine Wednesday. Temperatures 85 degrees. Winds will finally shift out of the south, so most areas should be on the warmer side Wednesday across the board. Before this cold front slides across Thursday, now the cold front doesn't cool us down a whole lot, but we will see those shower chances increase through the afternoon Thursday, some mugginess as well. Scattered showers, a few possibly severe storms later in the day on Thursday as that cold front makes its way through the region. So time it out for you on the WebMax forecast. You'll see by tomorrow morning, 6 o'clock, there's just that very slight chance up in the arrowhead. Could see some spotty showers. The rest of us still under those cloudy skies. And then by Tuesday afternoon, we'll see more sunshine than we did today. Those clouds do move out, and then those clouds continue to stay out by Wednesday afternoon. Plenty of sunshine in the day as we've got our next round of cloud cover kind of off to our west as that cold front will start to sweep through the region. And come Thursday morning, it's still off to our west, so it's a very slow moving front, but it will start to move through the region. And by the evening hours is when I'm thinking we might see some of that stronger storm activity. 59 degrees tonight up on the hill, 57 down by the lake. Some scattered showers possible, especially along the Iron Range and the North Shore. Northern Wisconsin, mostly cloudy skies, uh, winds out of the south. And then tomorrow, temperatures well above average, average being about 70 degrees. So temperatures in those upper 80s, especially areas way off to the west and down to the south. Here in Duluth, we're looking at 71 down by the lake because of that Slight east wind, it just kind of allows those cooler temperatures for Silver Bay, Two Harbors, Grand Marais, but uh, 84 and 85 up on the hill. So just a couple mile difference you were saying on over the weekend, you were yeah. more so inland, experienced those near 80 degrees while we were stuck in those yeah. low 70s. It seems like we just can't get out of that <laughs> rut where it's freezing cold down by the lake and yeah. then everywhere else has <laughs> nice seasonal summer temperatures. But yeah, it'll get there eventually. Hopefully. <laughs> Thanks, Caitlin. You're welcome. Most families have pivoted.